evening to you, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you from beautiful San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, and purposeful coach and speaker in the world. Hope you guys had a great weekend. And for those of you that do not work tomorrow, I hope you are having a relaxing, relaxing evening. Are you a toxic person is my question for you tonight. Are you a toxic person? Should you come with a warning label with particular side effects? What might that warning label say? Warning, spending too much time around this person can cause you to become depressed, can create opportunities for you to respond in anger, can cause you to have your dreams shrink, can cause you to see yourself as less than you are, can cause you to experience headaches and pain and nausea and tension and frustration and stress. Are you toxic is the question I have for you. Should you come with a warning label? Should you have a warning label so that others know that if they take time with you, they know what they can expect to experience by way of negative side effects. You know, one of the simplest words to describe toxic is the word poison. Are you poisonous? Are you poisonous to those around you? Do you cause negative effects for those who spend time with you? This, my friend, is the question that I want to ask tonight. And why do I ask a question simply because of this? Guys, I'm coaching you for free. It is my desire to pour out into your heart and connect with your spirit and engage your mind with the questions that create opportunity for personal growth and personal development that come from reflection. Because let's just be honest with you, there's probably nobody like me in your life that calls you out on your BS. That's your bologna sandwich from my Ziegler family. You probably don't have too many people who are living at a level of authenticity and living and walking the walk that they talk, who actually feel okay with and all right with confronting discrepancies in your audio and video. What does that simply mean, ladies and gentlemen? Many times we say what's important to us, and yet, if it's observed by those who do not know us, let's say you were followed by aliens and they monitored and wrote down what you said and what you did during a given day, there is incongruence with audio and video. So I'm one of these guys who loves you enough to call you out on your BS, your bologna sandwich. My desire tonight when I ask you this question is for you to come to the conclusion, yes, I am toxic, and then I will give you the reason and the way that you can come out of it, or you will say, no, I am not toxic, thank God, and you will look to serve others who are caught in toxicity and maybe help them free. Are you a toxic person? Should you come with a warning label? What would your warning label say if you were a medication? Ask yourself this question, if you were a medication, what would the side effects be of you being around people in your life? Ask yourself that question. What are the side effects of being around you? What would it say? Spending time with this man will cause your dreams to shrink, will cause your heart to sink, will cause you to question your worth, will cause you to question your value, will cause you to see life small and play life small and play on a very low level field. Being around this man will cause you to question whether you are loved or not. Is that what the warning label says in your life? Is that what a side effect would be? What would a side effect be? Think about it. What would the side effect be if you were a medication? Now listen, not all medication tastes good. In fact, most of it tastes like crap. And yet, you got to take it to get better. That's my desire to be like some massive antibiotic for the, for the poisonous toxicity that is just natural in this life. By the way, it's natural to be negative. It's natural to be toxic. 
any old person can complain and look at a situation through the lenses of negativity. It doesn't come naturally. It is a discipline that must one must engage in. So let me flip the question now because this is a question you have to ask yourself when we get out of this video. What would the warning label be on my life if I was a medication? What are the side effects others could experience with me in their life around them on a regular basis? What could happen to others from spending time on me? What would happen if somebody overdosed on you? Kind of spooky thought. You don't have to answer it during this video. I just want to plant the seed to give you opportunity to think about it in your own personal time for your own personal reflection. Now let me flip the question on you. What if you could, because by the way, you can, and that's what I intend to deliver to you tonight. If you could make your own decision for what your warning label and side effects would say, what would you like them to say? Because I'm going to help you with that and tell you how you can do it. What would you like it to say? Maybe your warning label could say something like this. Warning. Spending too much time around this person could cause you to see yourself bigger than you've ever seen yourself, could cause you to walk in the mighty and majestic power of the knowledge that the loving creator of this universe, Father God, adores you like crazy. You will start loving yourself more than you ever have. You will start listening to the limitations and breaking those limitations off your life if you hang around this person. You might start seeing great possibilities for yourself. You might start seeing yourself bigger than you are. You might start grasping the reality that you are endowed with the seeds of greatness. You are engineered for success. You are designed for accomplishment. You might start, if you spend too much time around this person, you might start chasing and taking actions on those big dreams that are in your heart that you're too afraid to talk to people about because you're worried about what might happen if they might fail. Spending too much time with this person might dispel that fear and you might be infused with courage and power to move forward on the dreams of your heart. Be careful. Be careful. Spending time around this person could cause you to become extremely uncomfortable as you step out in faith, living an adventurous life, laying your head on your pillow at night with that beautiful combination of the unknown mixed with the known uncertainty mixed with certainty, the juice of life that makes you feel alive instead of feeling like life is sucking the life out of you. Be careful. Don't spend too much time around this person. They may inspire you to bigger and greater things and to become all God created you to be. Be careful. What would you like your warning label to say? What would your warning label say if you were a medication? Are you toxic? If somebody overdosed on you, would their life be drained? You know, one of the things that I love about men in particular, because I connect with dudes, obviously being a dude, is I can always tell almost everything I need to know about a man when I look into the eyes of his wife. Guy don't have to tell me nothing when I look into the eyes of his wife. I know just about everything I need to know. The smile of the woman that has entrusted herself to your care, men, is a bigger reflection on you than you may imagine. No, I get it. I know you need to provide for your home. Uh, and yet it's not an either or thing. It can be a both and thing. What are the side effects your spouse is experiencing from overexposure to you? What side effects is your spouse experiencing? What side effects is your partner experiencing? What side effects is your boyfriend or girlfriend experiencing because of overexposure to you? If they overdosed on you, what would happen to your spouse? Would your spouse be living a big life? Would your spouse be stepping out by faith? Would your spouse or partner be growing and learning and becoming this fruitful vine? Or would your spouse be a withering vine, dying for water and life and refreshment? Only you can answer this question. I simply pose the question, are you toxic? You don't have to be. How can I help you to not be toxic? I'm really glad you asked. 
how I can help you to not be toxic is to first bring awareness to the power that you possess to change. You have the ability to decide to change. That's the hardest part is the decision and then having just enough self-discipline to create a new habit so that you have momentum in this new endeavor. In order to change your world, it begins with changing your thinking. You have got to change the way you think and the story you tell yourself about your situation. There's no meaning to any situation except the meaning you attach to it. What meaning will you attach to it? Will you say, she's just a nag. She's just nagging me, nagging me, nagging me, nagging me. I can't stand it. Could you tell yourself a different story? Could you say, good gracious, this woman must really care about me a lot to be interested in details that annoy me. You know, what she says is powerful. She just happens to have really bad tonality and even worse timing. Maybe we can work on that. What's a story, you, see how I just made that real, y'all? I didn't make it fakey, 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 right? Princess BS, bologna sandwich, right? Is there a different story you could tell yourself? Could you tell yourself the story? Hmm. Like a Proverbs 31 woman, my wife trusts, my heart trusts in my wife because I know she wants good for me all the days of my life. Maybe she needs work on tonality and timing, that's all right. I'll give her some grace for that. Honey, I love when you try to correct me when I don't ask you for it. I just haven't learned how to feel good about it yet. What's the story you could tell yourself that's empowering? Could you tell yourself a different story? My teenagers are crazy. They are so rebellious. They make my life a living hell. I mean, I'm telling you, I just want to wring their damn necks. Like uh, I think James Dobson said, um, no, John Maxwell said it. He said, grandchildren's grandchildren are God's reward to you for not killing your teenagers, their parents. Could you tell yourself a different story? Could you remove the toxicity and say something antibiotic like, hmm, wow, this child is exposing weaknesses and blind spots in my self-control, which make me really uncomfortable. So I guess I'm going to have to learn a new way to lead if I'm going to raise this child the way that I intend to raise them. I guess I need to focus on my leadership style, my leadership change. Could you tell yourself something different? That is the secret, my friend. When you begin to tell yourself a different story, the narrative changes and you have the opportunity to throw away the toxicity and step into a new ability to be a medication that brings healing and health and wholeness and life. My friend, it's up to you. You get to write the warning label on your life. Your warning label is either going to say, warning, warning, spending too much time around this person will be dangerous to your health. Your dreams will shrink, your health will shrink, your hope will shrink. You won't know if you're loved. You'll second guess yourself, you'll question yourself. You'll walk around in fear and emptiness and lack and sadness. Or your warning label says, watch out. Be careful, if you take too much of this gal, your life's gonna get big, your heart's gonna grow, you're gonna feel loved, you're gonna feel appreciated, you're gonna feel respected, you're gonna start taking giant risks and taking giant steps forward, you're gonna grow personally, you're gonna grow as a person, you're gonna grow as a human being, your spirit's gonna be on fire because you're overwhelmingly loved. Be careful around this person, you might have a huge life. Ladies and gentlemen, you get to write the warning label for your life. Are you going to be toxic? It's your choice. Are you going to be life-giving? It's your choice. You're not a victim. You get to choose. I hope tonight you choose wisely. Have a great evening, guys.